We're here at, on the site of Meri Meri Pa in the Waikato and we're overlooking the Waikato River. This was the um, site of a significant uh, pa that was built in August 1863, soon after the invasion of Waikato began. In October, late October, um, British troops attacked the position. They used armour plate as steamers um, to fire into the pa from the Waikato River. Uh, and also Armstrong guns to fire from Whangamarino were down more than two kilometres away, which was a sign of the immense military power that the British had at this time. Um, the British captured the Pa on the 1st of November 1863, but Māori had um, left the Pa, so it was described uh, somewhat ironically by newspapers as a bloodless victory, and it was seen as a major disappointment for British forces during the Waikato campaign. So today, when you visit the site, you can see where the walls of the redoubt would have been. You can see you can see it in the lay of the land. And we first came here together in 2015 when the site was in really poor a really poor state of repair. There's been some remediation work done since then, and the really good thing is that we can see that there is a sign. Um, which does indicate, tell a little bit of the story um, of what happened on this place. But there's still quite a bit of work yet to be done, so we hope that that will happen. Uh, for, for one thing, it's actually quite difficult to find the, 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 the par itself. There's, there's no signage um, to indicate it, and it's not sort of quite clear how you get up here. So little things like that that would really help to make it accessible for New Zealanders to find these sites and learn about the history of, of these places.